The possibility of the Pegasus, Unicorn, and Earth Pony cities having an acute triangular geolocational relationship as shown on this map is an idea I recently deemed improbable, until I noticed something that it shares in common with that of this movie poster. Both present Zephyr Heights as being located north of Maritime Bay, Bridalwood west of Zephyr Heights, and Maritime Bay south of Bridalwood. I had previously assumed that the topographical reference features such as Canterlot's Mountain had been moved around on this map to make them fit better in the poster, and that the modern pony civilizations existed at the corresponding positions of those features on the G4 map. But if there's an ounce of truth to Sunny's map, then the fact that the two of them agree on this triangular layout would indicate that the relative positions of modern Equestria cities could actually be just as they appear here. Obviously, there's absolutely no way the literal relative positions of Horseshoe Bay, Canterlot, and the Undiscovered West could have somehow drifted apart as far as shown in this picture, but what if these are actually not Horseshoe Bay, Canterlot, and the Undiscovered West? What if this entire map is just an extremely lazy visual aid reusing completely miscellaneous features from the G4 map as substitutes for what the new cities actually look like, to simply provide a basic concept of the layout of modern Equestria? Maybe the artist simply couldn't bother to draw anything original, like, even though this looks exactly like Canterlot's Mountain, and is Canterlot's Mountain, in this picture it could potentially be intended to represent an entirely different mountain. Hasbro, fire the guy who designed this poster. Anyway, what brought my attention back to these questions was actually another analysis mentioned by a commenter on my previous video. Apparently, someone by the name of Kenzo Shasan revealed the presence of an interesting shape outlined on the circular table at the top of Sunny's lighthouse by merging several frames from the movie and warping the perspectives to form an overhead view. Hmm. Does it look familiar to you? It's difficult to see the detail with the low contrast, so I sat down and spent a few hours tracing the edges to produce a clearer image. Do you see it now? This is the map of modern Equestria. Although apparently subjected to some amount of continental recession, expansion, and drift that occurred over thousands of years, the overall shape of the map still matches that of the middle equestrian world quite well. The undiscovered western peninsula, Horseshoe Bay, and the channel across the Celestial Sea dividing Griffinstone and the Dragonlands still remain present and in a five degree parallel line. The Griffish Isles, the Slug Troll Swamp Inlet, and many other features still appear just as they did on the G4 map. I'm not sure about whether Griffinstone and the Dragon Domain are submerged, but it's possible the curve of the equestrian planet is not represented the same way between these two maps, and that's what's causing the details towards the edges to appear somewhat distorted and at the incorrect scale. In any case, for the most part, the general directions that the equestrian shoreline is traveling seem to follow those of the old map nearly to a T, so I think it's safe to call this an accurate map. What's important about this map is that since it likely accounts for all major geographical changes that have occurred since Middle Equestria, it's the most reliable reference available to compare other maps to. Using it, Kenzo tried to determine if Sunny's map fits in anywhere. He drew this comparison between the Hook of Maritime Bay and the extrusion here, the island north of it and Black Skull Island, and this extrusion with that of the Forbidden Jungle. I personally think Kenzo's analysis has a lot of merit. Aligning these reference points makes Sunny's map almost want to line up. Unfortunately, doing so also reveals that it included a bay that does not match the reference point on the map reconstructed from the table. There are a number of other issues. As we can see, Black Skull Island is at the wrong scale, and Maritime Bay's hook is overpronounced. As commenter Fluttershy's music pointed out, the compass rose is neither pointed exactly in the correct orientation. I maintain my previous assertion that Sunny's map is of poor quality, and I think I could rationalize these discrepancies simply to map making errors, but what do you think? Is this the part of Equestria that Sunny's map depicts? Comment your opinions, because I'm not really sure. I don't see where else on this continent it could fit. Some people have opined that it could be depicting Equestria's southern border, but I don't really see the resemblance, and I also don't see why the ponies would inhabit a bay that goes toward Antarctica. I mean, good luck trading by sailboat with anything that lives down there. If our two other maps and Kenzo's analysis are correct, then Zephyr Heights would be atop the Badland Mountains, and Bridalwood is probably in the Forbidden Jungle. Unless the Bone Dry Desert is no longer bone dry, and that's where the unicorns now live. 
I feel I should mention this path traveling through the Forbidden Jungle on the G4 map, too. Maybe that's what this dotted line is supposed to represent? And why is it called the Forbidden Jungle anyway? Could it be because the ponies who live there have... Forbidden words? Hmm... Anyway, all of this is just speculation. Personally, I'm not convinced one way or the other about the reliability of either of these maps. We'll have to discuss this more while we wait for answers from the producers. I wonder a little if the producers intentionally obscured Equestria either to discourage us from asking these questions or to encourage us to come up with theories about it. We'll find out.